change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner and an oil collector. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before changing your oil, we advise adding a draining cleaner to the used oil in your engine. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue to reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for five minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, racing your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You can now see the drain nut. Unscrew the drain nut, use the wrench to begin with and finish off the process by hand. You have to anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, How to Make a Collector for Liquids. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw. The oil can squirt immediately. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. Replace the drain seal with a new one. Then, screw the drain nut back in. Start by hand. Then, finish off using a wrench without being overzealous, of course. When performing an oil change, it is necessary to replace the oil filter. Access to the oil filter is done from underneath the engine compartment. To avoid letting the oil inside the filter from flowing out, place a collector for liquids under it. Loosen the oil filter. If you're unable to do this by hand, you can release it with an oil filter wrench. If the filter remains stuck, unscrewing a blocked oil filter. Remove the oil filter. When released, turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. Separate the filter cartridge from the flange by pulling on it. Using a thin screwdriver, take out the rubber O-ring which is located on the flange washer. Replace it with the one found in the box of the new filter and the one located on the flange stem. Start by cleaning the filter flange with brake cleaner fluid and paper towels. Take the new filter and compare it with the old one to ensure that they're identical. Replace them with those provided in the new filter box, making sure you properly oil the surface. Insert the new filter into the flange until you hear the click that says it has been locked into place.
Rescrew the filter until you feel contact. When this happens, take it fully in your hand and add an additional half turn to tighten. Now you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, put the crankies back in place. Then lower your car back on the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug. Start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath. Remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed.